The following video will explain to you what it means to start with the evaluation test phase. The evaluation is a temporary phase to see if this therapy works for you and whether your symptoms improve. We are looking for an improvement in your symptoms. Depending on your condition, this could be a reduction in accidents, a return to normal toilet habits, improved hold time, less incontinence products used, less medications, and or improvements to your quality of life. In the evaluation phase, a thin needle is inserted near the sacral nerves in your lower back that control the bladder and bowel. Once the needle is in the right spot, confirmed by testing, it is replaced by a thin wire. During the procedure, you'll be lying on your front. Sometimes a local anaesthetic is used for this procedure, in which case please remain as still as possible. This lead is connected to a little white box called an external stimulator, or ENS, and some dressings are applied. Your ENS is the device, worn externally in a belt, that generates the stimulation. The controller is how you can adjust and manage your stimulation. The white cord is for charging your controller. Before and during the evaluation, you'll be asked to track your symptoms to see how well the therapy is working for you. You will be advised by your clinical team how long you have to track your symptoms. Stimulation sensations vary from person to person, but most people describe them as light pulling, tingling or tapping in their pelvic area, which includes the anus and or vagina if you are a woman, or scrotum if you are a man. The sensations may fade away with time, just as you may not notice trains anymore if you had lived nearby a railway for a long time. The sensations should never be painful, and if they become uncomfortable, please lower the stimulation level with your controller. The stimulation level is important, but increasing it past a comfortable level doesn't make it work any better. Remember, it isn't an endurance competition. You can continue to lead your everyday life at home but with some restrictions. Take it easy and don't forget to record your symptoms in your diary. Please try to avoid intense or rigorous physical activities during the evaluation phase that could displace the lead. Avoid bending, stretching or lifting heavy objects and don't take a normal shower. The dressings on your back are helping to keep the wire in position, so it is important that they remain in place. If they come loose, simply stick more dressings over the area. Avoid getting them wet. At the end of the evaluation phase, you will meet a member of your clinical team to review your diary, to check if your symptoms have improved, and decide if the therapy is appropriate for you. Whether the test has worked for you or not, your wire will be removed at the end of the test period. Be aware that your symptoms will most likely return within a few hours after stopping the stimulation. If it is decided that your test hasn't worked, you will hand back your controller and discuss next steps with your clinical team. If the test has worked for you, you will have a conversation with somebody in the clinical team to discuss next steps. Hopefully this video has provided you with a helpful guide for the evaluation test phase. If you require any further information, please use the contact details shown on the screen or given by the clinical team. Thank you for your attention.